So proactive swallowing therapy has been explored under this use it or lose it um, philosophy. Essentially, uh, proactive swallowing therapy is provided to encourage patients to keep maximal use of the swallowing system during radiotherapy. And two goals can be provided to discourage immobilization. One is simply eating through the course of radiotherapy and the other exercise. There's a significant body of work supporting the efficacy of proactive or preventive swallow exercise therapy during radiation or chemoradiation. Both retrospective uh, observational studies as well as randomized clinical trials have demonstrated a host of superior outcomes in patients who engage in uh, swallow exercises during radiotherapy compared to those who do not. So whatever it is that motivates you or your patient to adopt a pre preventive swallow exercise regimen, uh, the outcomes are there to support it. Better swallowing re related quality of life, better physiology of the swallow, uh, less peg dependence, better preservation of muscle mass on MRI, better diet levels, less aspiration and less hospitalization have all been associated with preventive swallow exercise regimens. There are also studies that uh, suggests the importance of ongoing oral intake throughout the uh, process of radiotherapy and the influence this has on long-term outcomes. Here we see data from Susan Langmore's trial demonstrating that the level of oral intake at the end of radiotherapy significantly predicts for a patient's level of oral intake a full year later. And on the right-hand side we, of this slide, we see uh, data from MUSC finding that an MPO interval of as brief as two weeks during the radiation process significantly and independently predicts for worse swallowing-related outcomes a full five years after radiotherapy. Mm -hmm.